out here prospecting on McClure, Maine, and we are on the fault that runs through the Kaikous River. As you can see, this area is severely faulted. We have loads of mineralization up in here. You can see the oxidation all over. We're going to go up here and take a look at uh, this area, show you some of the mineralization. You got Scarn lenses cutting through this. And uh, this area is extremely faulted off. The main mineralized area starts right about here and continues all the way around the corner and it's about 30 meters in width. You can see just how cooked this rock is. Pyrite with some calcopyrite. pyrite. Here's a couple samples I just pulled off. So we're just going to explore this area a bit more. Pull some more samples off, take a look at this mineralized area. Directly on a major fault that follows the Kaikus River, we have the entire area staked. And there's known occurrences, primarily scarn, copper mineralization in the actual river. This is mapped directly on the fault. You got some scar in here. Occasionally you'll find an area where there's a minute amount of malachite staining. Hammered off another couple areas here. It's pretty evenly disseminated throughout this whole outcrop here. So we're going to move on to around the corner, take a look at some of the mineralization around there. And around the corner you have various shears cutting through here with the exact same mineralization. Another one here, another one right here. So we've made a trip about five, six hundred meters up. This a side road close to that fault, which is just on the other side of these trees here. And we're noticing something along the road. Um, you see scarn, you see limestone, you see scarn, you see limestone right here. You see scarn here. Again, we have limestone peeking out of the bank right here. And then over here, we got scarn, 
And it's just a mix and mash of scarn and limestone everywhere. So hopefully we can find some mineralized scarn. So we're finding these all over the road. I don't know if these have been transported, but likely from close by. Scarn with pyrite and calcopyrite. And there's hordes of these all over the road. Some magnetite in there. Hundreds of samples everywhere. These are very nicely mineralized. Take a look at the gorgeous calcopyrite. Very nice. Beautiful samples on this road here. You got magnetite, pyrite, calcopyrite, all over the place. You got giant rocks like this of scarn with mineralization more samples a little farther up the road on the lookout for more mineralization came across this oxidation zone again like that first showing Disseminated iron pyrite, very minor calcopyrite. And it's just in a five meter wide area. So we're a little bit higher up now. This is the headwaters of the Kaikus, and I think this is called Jim's Creek that flows down here. Kaikus runs along there all the way through, going back this way. As you can see, it's been logged quite a bit in the last year. We're at a dead end now, so we're going to try another road and see what we can find. Still on the same road. Just a bunch of branch offs of that road. And you see this everywhere. Disseminated mineralization. Made it down to the main road again. Finished off a few logging branches. And uh, we didn't find too much of anything other than areas like this. Where you have disseminated iron pyrite and minor calcopyrite. And uh, we're at another area just off the, the main road, a quarry that was just blasted for road building. Over here, just pulled a sample off of here and you can see pyrotization. From the side right here, this is the kind of mineralization you see. A 
lots of iron pyrite coarse iron pyrite where you got your epidotization and then throughout your gray unit here it's a little bit more disseminated I should take one of these and attach it to the backpack drill. Up there we have a five meter wide shear. And from all the float rock down here, it looks like a silicus rock in that sheared oxidation area. A little bit of iron pyrite in it. J2 is going to bring a sample down. Here's a piece from that shear. And you can see iron pyrite. Looks like it's Mostly where the rocks fractured, but it's also pretty evenly disseminated in this uh, gray silicus unit, almost quartz like. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we're done for the day. Found lots of mineralized areas. <laughs> Found lots of mineralized areas. Um, and uh, we will be back tomorrow to look for more. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time when we hit a new area of the claim.